Welcome back my friends. For this next test we're going to push the Goal Yeti 500X to the limit of seeing how much solar charging power it can take on the MPPT controller. Specification for the 500X is 120 watts input but I've heard that it can be over paneled and it can take a little bit more than that. Of course you don't want to do these things regularly to any of your equipment lithium batteries or sealed lead acid batteries need to be taken care of in proper maintenance. You shouldn't be draining things below specified and I know I'm doing that here in the test but I don't plan on doing that regularly with my equipment. I'm doing it for the sake of understanding the limits of this equipment. So here today I'll be using a 120 watt solar panel and a 60 watt solar panel from TP Solar. With those panels come five millimeter cables with an eight millimeter adapter, which then can be used on the goal zero. In this test, I'll be using both the eight millimeter combiner with the eight millimeter connector to Anderson power pole in a vertical position. Those allow me to put the panels in parallel and then the adapter to an 8 millimeter as the input to the Goal Yeti. I'll also be using a 30 foot extension cable and I have also purchased the 15 foot extension cable to reduce the length of the cable and the loss due to that length. More to come on the test. We're here with the TP Solar 60 watt panels on a bright sunny day. I've been waiting for a day like this. It's been kind of overcast the last week. And those 60 watt panels are charging the Goal Zero Yeti 500X at about 40, 45 watts. 45 watts is 75%. I've seen it jump up to 50 watts, which is about 80%. So this is in range of what I'd expect out of a 60 watt panel. Let's hook up the 120 watt panels and see what we get from that. So these are the TP Solar 120 watt foldable panels. And I have those charging the 500X. And I've consistently seen between 75 and 80 watts of input. 80 watts of input is at 75%. So here we're charging about what we expect. I have played with the panels and angled them a little bit differently and tried to get the most out of that. Still, most I've seen is about 80 watts. So now, let's get the 120 watt panels and the 60 watt panels running in parallel and test the limits of the 120 watt input. On I want to point out, as I'm preparing to run the 120 watt and 60 watt panels in parallel, I have plugged in the goal zero splitter here which splits four eight millimeter female sockets into an Anderson pole vertical and then I have another adapter that takes the Anderson pole vertical into an eight millimeter input here and after connecting that maybe the Sun shifted angles but now I am consistently getting 95 watts of input which is greater than 80%, probably closer to 85%. So now let's add in the 120 watt panel in parallel. We now have the two panels running in parallel, 120 watts and 60 watts, and we are getting 140 watts of input into the goal zero. The specification is 120 watt input, so it does take more solar charging input than the specification. I wasn't planning on getting such good performance out of the two panels in parallel, so I'm very pleased with that. And you can see here it has less than a half an hour until recharged. It's at 98% right now. So here are those two panels, the 60 watt and the 120 watt running in parallel with the Goal Zero 8mm adapter right there. I've moved the Goal Zero inside the garage where it's now powering the 12 volt fridge freezer and using the 30 foot extension cable from Goal Zero I have the two solar panels outside running in parallel 120 watts and 60 watts 
and have been consistently getting 120 watts of charging power here inside the garage. We're going to keep this test short. The objective was to test if the Goal Zero Yeti 500X could take a solar charge greater than the 120 watts specified. Our conclusion is yes. A 140 watt solar charge was achieved using two solar panels, 120 watt and 60 watt in parallel. If you like this type of content, please subscribe. Next, we're going to be heading out camping in the Catskills using all of these gadgets together. The Goal Zero Yeti 500X with the 12 volt fridge freezer, with solar panels, with a gas powered generator. And if you have any questions on any of the gadgets you've seen here, please put in the comments below. I'd also love to hear about your experiences using this type of equipment. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great